Welcome back, everybody. Let's do Stranger Things Season 2. That's two in Mandarin. That's right, I speak Mandarin. I actually speak a total of 37 different languages, only 35 of which are known to other people. That's right, I speak two languages that no one else knows. One is called Dillies. It sounds a little bit like this. If I wanted to say, how's it going, guys, it would sound like, nah, nah, nah. And if I wanted to say, let's do Stranger Things 2, that would sound like, nom nom him and the many Stranger Things 2. It's pretty impressive, I know. I've dedicated my life to learning languages. Look at my, uh, look at my cue, my list. Black Mirror, Dark, The Walking Dead, although I'm already caught up on that. The Office, which I haven't seen seasons seven, six, seven. Season seven through nine, I haven't seen those seasons, even though I really like the show. I got Riverdale on here, I got Star Wars, because I'm planning on doing a Star Wars binge. Moana, One Punch Man, Breaking Bad, I haven't seen the final season. Planet Earth, ah, here it is, Stranger Things, season two. I mean, season two. Season two. Oh, it's nine episodes. There's nine episodes, and the last episode is called The Gate. So, we're gonna keep dealing with that. Not surprising, because we ended the, the last season on a cliffhanger where, uh, Will was, like, throwing up little critters into his sink. As a town preps for Halloween, a high-scoring rival shakes things up at the arcade, and a skeptical hopper inspects a field of rotting pumpkins. Okay, it's Halloween. So it's probably been a year. I think last season was taking place around Christmas, so it's been almost a year. Let's watch, or in Delhi's Bleh, 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 bleh. Boom. So like, five minutes in, and we already have a girl who has superpowers? She used her mind to convince a cop he's seeing something that he's not actually seeing. So he thought he saw the bridge collapse, but that's not actually what happened. It was just in his mind because the girl put the image there. Whoa. I'm ready for some other people to have some superpowers in this show. Okay, they just showed a tattoo. She's number eight. She's eight. He's back. And his mullet is better than ever. I knew it, Steve. I knew I could trust you to have a better mullet in season two. I love this guy so much. I love him. I love him. I'm, I'm in love with Steve. I'm in love with Steve Herring Harrington. I don't know your last name, Steve, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. End of episode one, and a couple things I want to go over. First of all, I assumed that Winona Ryder and Grasshopper were going to be a couple. That's not the case. However, I think that they're the long-term ship because they're not together now. And if they get together too fast, then I don't think that they have much longevity, which is why I don't have a lot of hope for Steve and uh, Nancy. Also, Hop has... Eleven with him. Which makes sense. I was wondering at the beginning of the episode when the... I think he's like the journalist or something. He was talking to Hop about the shave-headed girl with superpowers. And Hop was blowing him off. Some little girl shattered the door with her mind. I heard that story. Did you hear the one about the fat man with the beard who climbs down chimney? If he didn't know what was up with Eleven, then he would have been more interested in what the guy was saying, but he blew him off. So I really wasn't surprised that he is looking after Eleven currently. Really curious about Max, Maxine, and uh, her brother. Definitely, he's gonna play a role somehow. Also, looks like Willy, Lil Willy's got some problems. Lil Willy, that sounded perverted. He's seeing this giant, oh my god, it's like this giant octopus thing from the sky. Which is so funny because in the first season, it's just like this nine foot monster. And then in season two, it's like this huge monster that's like the size of a city. I like how we're up in the stakes. And one thing I didn't talk about with season one is how well produced the show is. How well directed it is. If you watch a show again, watch how they cut with sound. A lot of times when they cut between scenes, there's like an amplified sound that goes out of a shot and that like kind of helps bridge the, the two shots so it's not like a stark cut. Hey. Stranger Things uses a lot of sound amplification. They amplify sounds in this to, uh, to build suspense, to build tension. The show is just so well done. I think that's part of the reason why people love it so much. All right, now on to episode two. Oh, guys, I totally forgot. Hop lost his daughter. His daughter died. I forgot that. As soon as he rubs Eleven on the head, I was like, oh, I wonder if he's going to have a fatherly bond with this girl. That would make up for the fact that he has no family. But then I was like, oh, no, he had a family, and then he lost it because the daughter died. What the hell is this? 
just a nice little squirrel out for his out for his <laughs> afternoon walk, and all of a sudden he's f***ing flung into a tree. What the hell, Eleven? And then she just picks it up and cooks it. So she kills a poor little squirrel with her mind by flinging it 20 feet at high speed into a tree. I just, I don't know what to do with this information. I don't know, I don't know how to proceed. Woo! Nancy! Nancy say it ain't so! Bullshit. What? You're, you're pretending like, like, we're in love and uh, we're partying. Like we're in love? You don't love me? It's bullshit. Ah ha ha! Steve! Obviously she's lying because everybody loves Steve. You can't not love Steve. Did you see his mullet? That thing is sick. There's so many plot lines that are so intriguing. Although they're bringing Barb's memory back. I was sick of Barb after two episodes. I think she was in two or three episodes last season and I was just completely done with her character. The death of Barb is like really affecting Nancy, but Steve's like, eh, it's Barb. But it's Barb, who cares, it's Barb. Also that dude, Max's brother is like a psychopath. There's a scene of him like driving in his car and he's like, I'm gonna hit these kids and I think he was actually gonna do it. Can I get two bacon cheeseburgers, a medium fry, and then like five ketchup packets? How am I supposed to, I think I'm supposed to hang this. Like this. How can that bitch Nancy not love Steve? What is wrong with her? She's got psychological issues. Hey. hey. Thanks, man. Yep. You guys heard me say five ketchup packets, right? You guys heard five. I, I If I don't give them a specific number, then they always only give me like one or two. No, bro, I want five. So if there's not five ketchup packets in here, I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna slap some hoes. Actually, oh, red light. Okay, well, let's determine. One, two, three, four. I see four. I see four. There better be a hidden one down there. There better be a fucking hidden compartment down here with an extra ketchup packet. Yes, it's Culver's. Hi, uh, you only gave me four ketchup packets. Do you need me to slap a hoe? What's that? You don't want your hoe slapped? Well then, I swear to God, you better get me that fifth ketchup packet. Uh, I just ran something over. I just ran something over. It was dead. It was dead though by the, before, I, before I hit it. And maybe it was Steve's heart. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Today's a good day. Today's a good day. <laughs> the end of episode three, yo. Will's like, go away to this giant, huge creature that's like the size of a city. Go away. It's like, go away. And it's like, mm. Nah, bro, I'm not gonna go away. I do want to go back to the beginning of the episode because I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> episode four, Will the Wise. Ooh, Will's gonna do something dope. An ailing Will opens up to Joyce with disturbing results. You know what I have noticed is apparently in the Stranger Things world, every car that leaves anywhere has to speed off at the fastest speed possible. Speaking of this guy, I don't know his name yet, but he's just too obviously a villain. So I think he's gonna actually be a good guy. Plus, he after he knocked Steve over in the basketball game, he gave Steve advice. Charge. So he's like trying to help Steve and then when they were in the showers the way he was looking at Steve. Oh, yeah. Oh Yeah, oh Yeah Maybe he's in love with Steve. I, I don't blame him at all. I don't care if he's gay straight, whatever you can love Steve Ah, oh, The little creature that Dustin's been taking care of is eating his cat Dustin you stupid Stupid mother. You are now the stupidest character in the series. You realize that, yes? You found something, realized it's from this super dangerous world, and it's growing rapidly. So you leave it at home all day by itself. What did you think was gonna happen? You, th you thought I was just gonna be your pet? Oh, Dustin, you're, you're so stupid. I was so shocked when I saw that. 
What is Hop doing? Hop's digging. He's still digging. He's looking for the roots or the vines. Well, he hears something. He hears something. Oh, it's goopy. Oh, it's really goopy. What the hell? Oh, and it's got the flakes. You know, the flakes from the other worlds. Yo. Uh, episode five. Dig Dug. Nancy, isn't that the name of the arcade game? Nancy and Jonathan swap conspiracy theories with a new ally as Eleven searches for someone from her past. Who's the new ally? Bob the Brain tackles a difficult problem. Let's go through it. Let's do it, man. Episode five. We have bigger problems than your love life. You still have that bat? Bat? What bat? The one with the nails. A Dustin and Steve team up? I already know this is gonna be so much fun because Dustin's the best kid out of the four kids and Steve's the best adult out of all the adults to ever live. So this is gonna be the best team up ever. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And Dustin said, did you bring the bat? The one with the nails in it? Oh, I'm so excited for this. Well, if this isn't the freakiest shit I've ever seen in my entire life. No, do not autoplay. I need a f I need a minute. All right, it's getting real. It's getting real hot up in here. We got what four four episodes left. Next episode, the spy. Will's connection to a shadowy evil grows stronger, but no one's quite sure how to stop it. Elsewhere, Dustin and Steve forge an unlikely bond. Unlikely? I tend to disagree with that. There's nothing more likely than the coolest kid and the coolest adult to link up and destroy evil together. It's a story as old as time. Let's watch this. Steve. We like Steve. But we don't love Steve. Listen up, Baldy. You talk more shit about Steve, and I will come over there, and I will slap what remains of your hair off your head. We love Steve. We do. You really gonna do my boy Steve dirty like that, huh, Nancy? <laughs> Always knew you were a whore. Steve is off fighting for the fate of humanity. And you just wanna make out with Jonathan. You know what? I hope Steve ends up with Jonathan's mom as retribution. That's my new ship. Just to get back at Jonathan. Steve is gonna be daddy. He's gonna be Jonathan's daddy. Oh, yeah. Take that, Jonathan. Hmm? Is this guy really smoking a cigarette as he's doing barbell curls? Really, bro? Really, bro? <laughs> I mean, I get it. Everyone's got their own methods, but usually that involves like creatine and protein. This guy's method is cigarettes and beer. Oh yeah, beer. Watch him rack the weights. Take a drag and grab a beer. Protein synthesis. It, that, that process is enhanced when you drink Miller Lite. <laughs> Steve's about to fight the Demigorgon. Uh-oh, I got Steve in this fight. Ain't nothing taking my boy Steve down. Come on, Steve. Don't die. Don't die on me here. Oh, he, he's calling for it. Yo. I'm so nervous, Steve. Steve. Woo! Come get it, Danny Gorgon. It's gonna be huge. Oh, it's pretty big. Ooh. Oh my god, there's multiple. Come on, Steve. Oh! Ah! Got him! Got him! Let's go, Steve! Go! Go! Oh shit. <laughs> Steve's like, you want some? Yo! Get him, Steve. Ooh, they're running away. They must have got the call from... Oh, you know what's gonna happen? They must have got the call from the mothership. And the mothership underneath the tunnels, the thing that the, uh, the soldiers are gonna go fight now, the thing that will point them in the direction of, they're gonna run and protect the, the heart of this thing. They're going somewhere. Mm -hmm. Steve knows. We'll let them into a trap! You do what? I told you they upset him. Oh no! <laughs> they shouldn't have done that. They shouldn't have upset him. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Yo, anyone who says the first season of Stranger Things is better than the second season, I don't know what the hell you were thinking, but you are clearly incorrect. I think anyone who likes season one better than season two is likes lower stakes. Because that's like just a tiny little preview into the can of worms that's about to get opened. Because they're coming up into the facility now. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Episode 7. Let me see the preview. Psychic visions draw Eleven to a band of violent outcasts and an angry girl with a shadowy past. Don't tell me the whole episode is going to be about Eleven's past. Not when you leave me with this cliffhanger. I'm actually concerned about that. Because it's nine episodes. The first season was eight episodes. I feel like maybe they're going to use the extra episode to just do a whole, like, flashback thing. You know, I think I have a feeling this whole episode is going to be about Eleven's past. <sighs> Eleven was just reunited with her sister. Oh, I, I did pick the, the whole thing. The whole episode was going to be about Eleven. Looks like that's going to be the case. But also, number eight has to die. Because she's like, you and me, Eleven, we're supposed to be together. We're like sisters. But no, she's supposed to be with Mike and the others. You can't be with both. So I'm pretty sure eight's going to die by the end of the season. And I also think that this one's a little bit more vague. But this is the third time now that... Someone said uh, this is home to Eleven and every single time Eleven's like home The first time was with Hopper at the cottage The second time was when she visited her mother and then the third time now I think she's gonna get like a, a weird sense of what home is and I think eventually she's gonna come to the realization that home is not a place, but it's with people. And that's my guess. <laughs> I know that's like a really vague thing, and I don't think that it's gonna be outright stated, but I feel like there'll be a, a moment where you'll be able to pick that up. I'm going to my friends. I'm going home. An unlikely hero steps forward when a deadly development puts the Hawkins lab on lockdown, trapping Will and several others inside. A hero steps forward. You know who I think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be the cigarette smoking, beer drinking, barbell curling motherfucker. <laughs> What did we talk about? Oh, Maxine's brother's getting chewed out. Ah, you see the cycle. Now you understand why he's always speeding off because he's trying to escape this horrible life. No, seriously, you see the cycle. It's, it's, he gets yelled at and he's, he gets roughed up a bit at home. So then he takes that anger out on other people. He's going to call whatever whore he's seeing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's look at Maxine. Find his sister. Yeah, he's gonna be the unlikely hero. What Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, you little pussy. Are you kidding me? You were barbell curling like 300 pounds before while you were smoking a cigarette and drinking a beer. And now you're gonna be like, Yes, sir. He was crying too. He had, he had he double tear. It wasn't a single tear, it was a double tear. Both eyes. Bro, Billy. Billy. Ah, oh, you just, you can't pretend to be such a tough guy and then do a double cry when your dad yells at you. Get, bro, bro. We gotta talk, Billy. Billy, I know you wanna be Steve. Steve would never double eye cry. Steve might do a single eye cry, just a one tear, but never a double. Okay, Demi Dog just got thrown through a window and I think it's dead. Oh, if it's Billy. Oh, it's 11. Duh! It's eleven! <laughs> yeah! It's eleven. Yeah, it's eleven. Looking like a punk goddess. <laughs> eleven! Eleven! Oh, one episode left. Oh my god. I just... Ah! Ah! Got that wrong. I thought Billy was gonna come to the rescue and be a badass, but uh, he wasn't anywhere to be seen after he, he double cried. Honestly, after, after double eye crying like that, I don't know that I want to see him again. It was pretty pathetic. He can't pretend to be a tough guy and then do the double eye cry. I just, I don't want to see you anymore, bro. I no longer recognize you as a character. You're just a bitch. <laughs> All right, episode nine. All right, man, everybody got upset when I skipped the intro last time. Let's watch the intro. Let's watch it. This is the first time I watched season two intro. Uh-huh, uh-huh, cast neon sign. Actually, I don't think I, I never watched the intro of the first season. It's just the word Stranger Things. The letters go in different ways. That's not that cool. I mean, why is everyone so hyped up about this? I don't get it, man. And in fact, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rewind 
back to this here. Yep, now back to here, and I'm gonna go ahead and skip intro. I just needed that satisfaction. I, uh, didn't realize Nancy had a sister. Don't be smiling at him. You wouldn't be smiling at him if you saw the double cry. Bro, Billy, don't try to play it off like we didn't see it. All of us were there for that. There was a camera crew present. Don't try to be all slick hitting on moms. Ooh, are we gonna get a kiss? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, hop, you cock block. Is it weird to root for two 12 year olds to kiss for my own pleasure? I, that, that feels weird. You know what? I'm glad this didn't happen. Oh, here we go, baby. Here we go. We got the Steve versus Billy matchup. I have been looking forward to this all season. And you know what? Steve can't lose here. You can't get his ass kicked or anything because it's the last episode and we love Steve. So the writers aren't gonna have him get his ass kicked. Let's see what happens. Man, when you drop too much as a child, I want Oh, Steve! Oh, what was that, you fucking reptile? What is this? Stranger's house. Watch his mouth. I don't know what you don't What? <laughs> what? I think he was sending a subconscious signal to, to Steve there. He's like, hey, I'm here. We're alone. If you wanted to do something, I'm not gay, but you're Steve Harrington, and uh, everybody loves Steve. So come get some loving. <laughs> oh, dude, you can't shove you Steve. Stay away from him, Matt. Go away. You disobey me. Ooh. I break things. <laughs> Oh, Lucas, one knee to the crotch. So dead, Sinclair. Are you gonna cry? Are you gonna double cry? You're dead. No, you are. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Looks like you got some fire in you after all, huh? Ah. Get out. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Steve is destroying him. <laughs> Oh, Steve! Oh, Took a plate to the head. Yeah. How does this guy, uh, what was his name again? Blair? Uh, Billy! Billy! How does he walk into this house and just see, like, there's his drawings everywhere, pieces of paper taped to the floor and the walls? Doesn't think a thing of it. He just goes, he's like, hey, we need to go. And then he picks up the, the black, he went straight for the black kid. I think this dude might be a racist. <laughs> Oh god, Steve's getting his ass kicked. I gotta be honest, Steve, this is your second fight I've seen you in, and you're over for 2 right now. Eleven just double-handed her telekinesis and closed the gate. There was something really scary lurking behind that gate. I think it was the shadow monster in the physical form. I thought we were gonna get that. I thought that we were gonna get like a huge battle scene. Like like a jets coming over as this giant freaking beast came over a city. There were no huge battle scenes with like tanks and stuff. I thought we might get it when I first saw that shadow monster. However, no, it's just like a virus and then demi dogs. Those were like the um the physical threats. There's 16 minutes left. It's one month later, so it's gonna be wrap up stuff. But I'm very curious to see what they do. If they're gonna set up the same, like like last season where they set it up in the last couple minutes. Oh, Barb finally gets her funeral. I'm really happy. Actually, I don't give a shit. Sorry, Barb. Oh, the doc lived. Cool. What was that? What was that? He slid something across the table. The doctor to Hopper. Congratulations. Ooh, it's a birth certificate. Even myself. Still, like for Jane. Eleven. Oh, it's the it's the snowball. Yo, Mike was talking about this last time, last season. Oh, yo, she just hit Billy with a look. Billy's gonna walk away. Yeah, that's right. You a punk bitch, Billy. We all saw the double cry. I'm sure she did. She saw the replay. She ain't afraid of him no more. Son of a bitch. Whatever happened to the cat? The oh, they got a new one? Right here, where I put it. No, Steve. Steve's looking at Nancy through the window. 
Oh no. No, Steve. No, don't drive away. Hey! Steve didn't speed away. That is, he's the first character who didn't speed away all series. I knew Steve would be my first. I mean, uh, the first to, uh, what? Uh oh, it's a slow dance. Dustin and, uh, Lucas both are gonna wanna ask her. Next. Hey, you know. Oh no! Dusty! Dusty's right here. Oh, it's new. Oh no! Dusty! He, he got the Farrah Fawcett spray. You know what? You know what? Dustin deserves this because he was the one who let the demi dogs loose because if he wouldn't have lied if he would have just killed it when he first saw it there would have been no demi dogs and that means Bob would have lived ergo Dustin killed Bob and I like Bob you know at first he's kind of like this klutzy nerdy guy but he's resourceful Dustin you deserve to have your heart broken I'm sorry but you deserve it Stacy yeah shall we um no thanks <laughs> Dusty got rejected. You know what? You deserve that, Dusty. Oh he's just gonna- he's literally just gonna go around asking everybody. Why don't you ask Mike? I'm sure Mike will dance with you. Nancy's gonna dance with him, right? Nancy just asked our boy Dustin to dance. You better watch out. I knew Dustin was gonna be giving her that sausage pizza. Oh, 11 came. 11 came for Mikey. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do I root for them to kiss? I don't know. Am I a pervert? You are beautiful. Don't kiss. Don't kiss. Or do. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! Oh! The redhead just kissed, um, uh, 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 uh Lucas. <laughs> if I stutter enough times, it eventually comes to me. And it wasn't even like a kiss, it was just a mashing of lips against lips, which is the the, the clear sign of a first kiss. Just... Mm. Mm. Oh! 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 Oh, I paused it! I paused it! I don't know what to do here. Guys, do I watch? Do I watch? I don't know that I can look. I can't. I can't look. Oh, they did it! Oh, they did it. They did it. I liked it. The, this the season, not the... <laughs> Is that it? No cliffhanger? No cliffhanger this year? Oh, there's definitely a cliffhanger. You hear how the music's like starting to distort? It's like turning into an echo. Oh, we're going for the upside down world. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. Come on. That's too much of a tease. Ah! That huge beast. I have a feeling that huge beast is gonna make its way into this world and it's gonna, like, there's, there's gonna be like a tank battle. Or there's gonna be tanks shooting at it and stuff. You can't bring this giant shadow monster back and then not have it be, like, in its physical form. Like, you already did the virus thing and it had, like, its little minions, the dogs. You can't bring it back for another season doing the same thing. You know, you're the up the ante. It's gotta come through the gate. Oh, that's it. What, what is this? Auto playing Beyond Stranger Things? Wait, what is this? Oh, it's like commentary. Anyways, back to season two of Stranger Things. Uh, yeah, so the villain of season three looks like it's going to be the shadow monster. And also Papa. It's, it's pretty heavily implied that he's coming back. I'll, I don't know how. I said that in the season one binge that his death wasn't very satisfying. But maybe that's because he's not dead. Find who? Brenner! I can take you to him. Papa is gone. No, he is alive. You don't say that he's not dead unless it's true. Because it didn't have any relevance really within that episode or in the season. So he's definitely alive. Like, that, you say that so that you set it up for future events. Just like number eight is set up for future events, so she'll come back as well. I thought it was interesting that they had a whole episode dedicated to Elle, because... Well, it's not, I guess I wasn't even surprised, because I thought it was weird that season one was eight episodes, and season two was nine episodes. And as soon as I saw the description was only about eleven, I was like, yo, this whole episode is gonna be about her, that would make sense. I just hate that it was right at a cliffhanger moment. If you're gonna do that, do that, like, episode four 
You know, like before we're like super invested before like everyone all the characters in our major danger But luckily all the episodes are available to watch so you can kind of you can just go through that one and watch the next episode Right after and you know, you don't have to wait a week like if it was on TV So I like that and I also have to say that I know I saw some people saying season one was better than season two I don't know what you're talking about that. It's literally on every level the season two is superior to season one. The stakes are higher, the pace is faster, it's just, yeah, season two is, is a definite improvement. Some people were saying that I was gonna really love Steve in this season, but Steve got his ass kicked, and his redemption was when Dustin fell, and he took the bat to a vine. So he beat up a vine. Other than that, his last important event was him getting his ass kicked by a guy who then got his ass kicked by a girl. A, a little girl, like a 12-year-old girl. Steve, I love you, but I, I like, you just don't fight people f in the future. <laughs> I loved how Eleven elevated too, or she levitated. She got off the ground. I was thinking about that too during the season. I was like, if Eleven can like manipulate stuff with her mind, I wonder if she could fly. So I, I think that's gonna be a thing in the future because she she lifted off her feet. All right, man, it's 11.30 now. I have more series to binge. I, I think the next one's gonna be Star Wars, which is gonna be a whole day. That's six movies plus t uh, two. So one or two more outside of the the original I might just do the original six and then do another video about the the extra ones But I got a handful of things to binge if you're not subscribed subscribe if you want to go watch season one binge There it is on the screen. Uh, there's the Harry Potter binge watch one of those as always. I love you guys have a great day <laughs>